Hey guys, welcome to video number six of the Silk Plus tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at array notation and SIMD enabled functions. So basically, um, what this is is a new operator for arrays which lets you specify certain array sections or certain array loops. Um, but before we get into this, um, I'm going to suggest that you guys watch this uh, video on YouTube. I'm going to be providing the link in the description. Uh, basically, uh, this gives you a rundown on, um, on what SIMD operations are and how they work. Basically what SIMD stands for is single instruction multiple data. It means that you can make your CPU um, operate on multiple pieces of data at once rather than just one piece of data at once. So when you're say adding two integers together you can actually um, add eight integers together at the same exact time on the same CPU without without sacrificing any extra additional clock cycles. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and watch uh, this video. Um, he's going to talk about using Pragma SIMD um, to specify, uh, to vectorize um, loops. And then he's going to give you a couple examples on array notation. And then near the end he's going to talk about uh, specifying elemental functions where you can vectorize an actual function. So this video basically, it gives you a good idea on how you can vectorize arrays, uh, loops, and functions. So yeah, give this a watch, and um, I'll pause the video and get back to you once you're done watching it. Hey guys, so now that you're done watching that video, at least I hope you watched that video, um, go back to the Silk Plus website, go to the tutorial page, and go ahead and click on Array Notation, and uh, give this a nice read. Uh, basically, it'll tell you about all the different um, different ways that you can use Array Notation, and uh, there's a lot of example files right here that'll show you how to do it. Um, for example, this one, basically, you just create two arrays, size 10, and initialize them um, in a for loop, and then it just shows that it's exactly the same as doing it with this array notation that I talked about earlier. Um, and then it just verifies that the arrays are the same. Um, so give that a look. Try out some of these files. Um, there's quite a few of them. Uh, you could do them with 2D arrays uh, as well, um, with some restrictions. Um, and then for dynamically allocated arrays, you aren't, you're not able to use. Um, I guess I'll do this in, a, in an example uh, to show you what I mean. So if we go over here to Visual Studio. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I've got 100,000 array elements. We're creating them on the stack. And then we're, we're calling this function, this um, add floats. We're doing a pragma simd so that it'll vectorize this loop. And when we run it, it'll literally run in very, very, very little time. Um, pretty much automatically. But that's because I've got... 12 cores and this computer is pretty pretty darn fast um, but let's uh, let's just make this a dynamic array and now we won't be able to use these uh, this array notation because this is dynamic so we have to actually specify the, the length since this array notation isn't going to know what the bounds are because it's only being given a pointer so we're going to go start zero size zero size and if you watched the previous video you know that the stride is one uh, we don't actually have to put that in though because it's one by default. Uh, if you wanted to skip and do every two elements, you would go size over two. 
And then make the stride too. Size over two, make the stride too. But that would only that would only fill half of the array. So we're just gonna leave it the way it was. So that we initialize the entire array. And then build and run and it'll basically be the same. Zero. So what we're doing in this function is we're just adding every element in A with every element in B and storing it in A. So we initialized A to be all 0 and B to be all 5, so our result is obviously going to be 5. Um, now, that pretty much sums it up. Well, now that we're not um, on the stack anymore, we can uh, make this a bigger number. So let's just go 60. Let's go 60 million. Let's see how fast it does this. So it does it in 0 0.03 seconds. Now, if we didn't have this pragma SIMD here, and if we didn't have optimization enabled in our project, and we save, build, run this, so now it takes 0 0.1 seconds, or 0.18 seconds. So it's considerably slower. So if we go ahead and put this Pragma SIMD back in, save, and turn our optimization back on, instead of 0.18 seconds, it's going to do it in 0 0.03 seconds. Much, much faster. Um, and also, um, if you haven't watched the video uh, that I showed you earlier, uh, this guy, please watch it, because he also gives you um, a good example about using dec decal spec vector to call an elemental function which vectorizes the code and you can run that in a silk 4 so not only can you because this example right here does this only on one thread but it's a SIMD operation so you do get a very good speed up but in this video where he does a elemental function you can actually do multiple threads and each thread uses SIMD. So give that a good watch, check out the examples, try to follow along, and um, that's, that's vectorization.